right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and welcome to my August 2019 update video for, you guessed it, August 2019. Woo. So yeah, as always with these monthly update videos, I'm gonna go over some personal life stuff as well as YouTube stuff. So, as always, let's just jump right into it. And the first thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the, well, lack of videos as of late. Now I know I promised you guys I was gonna make some more videos now that I'm on summer break for the next couple weeks or so before the fall semester starts up at the uh, end of this month. And there's been two things that have been kinda keeping me from doing that. And one of them is my physical health. Um, as you guys know from last month's update video, I've been going through some hip slash butt issues, uh, some inflammation, things like that. Nothing like too super serious, but I mean serious enough to where <laughs> it's you know really hard for me to, to sit down, or at least it was. So I've been mostly focusing on my physical health for these past few weeks, trying to get this uh, issue taken care of. And it's mostly just taking anti-inflammatories, like uh, I t I'm taking Aleve, which is like Napraxin, I guess is the official name for it. Uh, I've been icing the effective area. In fact, I got an ice pack on it right now <laughs> as I'm recording this video. And I've been doing that, uh, doing some stretching, and I've also been doing a lot more walking outside. I've noticed that's really um, significantly affected it for the better. Now, there was times where I could only walk like maybe a mile or less, and then it would start acting up and I'd be like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm probably get my ass home. <laughs> basically, and uh, there'd be other times where I could uh, walk my full uh, little circuit that I got going for me and uh, come home feeling pretty good about myself. All hot and sweaty, but feeling good. And I noticed it's really been uh, positively affecting my mental health as well, so that's uh, another major plus. And uh, the way things are going, man, uh, I think this will be all completely taken care of within about a week or two, the way things are going. And then the second issue that I've been running across is involving school. Now, uh, it's kind of a complicated issue because there's a lot of moving parts involved and I don't wanna bog this whole video down just talking about that, but the basic gist is that uh, the school that I'm currently going to charged me out-of-state tuition while the GI Bill only covered for in-state tuition. So there's been a lot of talks between myself, the VA at my school, and other various departments. I've gone through probably like 15 or 20 different people at this point just to get a straight answer out of somebody. And I've been like turning in forms and finding out that's the wrong form. You have to actually use this form and no, this doesn't work. And it's just been a whole big runaround and it's been really frustrating to be honest because the thing is I qualify for the yellow ribbon program. Basically uh, some states do it, not all states, but a lot of states do. And basically what it is, is that if you're an out-of-state student, if you qualify for the Yellow Ribbon Program, the Yellow Ribbon Program will match the difference between in-state and out-of-state tuition. So big VA thought that I was getting charged for in-state tuition because I qualified for the Yellow Ribbon Program, but the VA at my school didn't sign me up for the Yellow Ribbon Program, so I was getting charged for out-of-state tuition. So I've been going back and forth between different departments to kind of figure out how to resolve this issue. I'm gonna be going in uh, this week to hopefully, hopefully, get a straight answer out of somebody and get this thing taken care of because if I don't, then not only will I not be able to go to class this, uh, this coming fall semester, I won't be able to use my grades to uh, apply out to Japan because they'll be locked up because I'll have an outstanding balance of tad south of $2,000. Definitely looking to get this issue resolved and hopefully it'll get resolved this week and won't have to worry about it and be able to carry on smartly from here. And so despite all these little roadblocks, I did record uh, two new episodes of Andy Talks Japandi, which is my renamed series, formerly known as Andy Before Japandi. Uh, decided on the rename because uh, I like that name a lot better and it kind of fits with what I want to do moving forward to where like, I wanna continue the series even while I'm out in Japan. So that way it's not just me going out in Japan doing stuff, I'm also kinda of sitting down in my little apartment or whatever, just kinda of talking about some stuff. So, you know, it's a nice series. I really enjoy making it and I wanna continue making it more. And then as far as editing tutorials go, I have plenty of ideas for those. Um, just a matter of picking which one I wanna do. 
and uh, I got a couple good ones and I want to make sure that they're really well put together. I'm also thinking about doing some other different types of content for my editing channel in addition to tutorials. I also want to do more stuff kind of like Roberto Blake, that sort of thing where kind of talking about creator type problems, doing some other stuff beyond tutorials, maybe talking about like how to buy your first camera or do you even need a camera to record on YouTube these days? You know, just talking about some practical advice that I've learned over the years being a YouTuber. Now I'm, I'm nobody super big and famous, but uh, I've been on YouTube for well over 13 years at this point. I've learned my fair share uh, being on the platform for as long as I have, and I want to share that knowledge with you guys. And now getting into the getting back to Japan type stuff, because uh, there's not really a whole lot of personal life stuff to talk about because we already kind of talked about that before. So I'm just gonna dedicate this segment to the getting back to Japan status type dealio. So as you guys know, uh, the summer semester was a huge success. Uh, there's some points that could have been a little better. I could have planned out assignments a little better, but overall the results speak for themselves. I got a 3.0 GPA, which is the highest I've gotten uh, in quite some time. I don't think I've gotten that GPA that high since like high school, to be honest with you. Definitely really proud, really pleased with the results. That's just one major step to me returning back to Japan. But the major step that we have to deal with now is, well for one, maintaining the GPA. I can't just rest on my laurels here. Um, and also uh, to save up for my return to Japan. So um, I, there's four big ticket items that I gotta worry about for my return to Japan. One is the plane ticket, obviously. <laughs> That's one of the more uh, costly expenses. But thankfully, I have a, a buddy of mine, friend of the show, who uh, is gonna help me out with that, give me some cheap plane tickets. Really gotta thank you so much for that. And then the second thing is a laptop because as much as I love the good old chill box, and it served me well these past four plus years since I made it, but it's not really a practical thing to carry around with me out to Japan, especially if I'm gonna be like changing dorms and stuff like that. You know, I need something a bit more mobile. So I'm gonna be saving up for a good laptop, looking around the thousand dollar, maybe like 1200 at the most, kind of range of laptops. Just something that's really good enough to render a lot of good stuff on uh, on the Adobe suite. And uh, you know, one that's not gonna crap out on me in the year, hopefully. <laughs> and the third thing is gonna be a new camera because I sold all of my uh, camera equipment and everything uh, this last year uh, during Christmas time. Uh, to cover expenses for my car and to later buy a new one, <laughs> which I didn't know at the time I'd, I would need that money for, but uh, it is what it is, I guess, right? So I ended up selling uh, all my camera gear, all that stuff. I don't really have any cameras anymore, aside from like my cell phone, which I guess could be good in a pinch, but I want like a camera camera, basically. So the one I'm gonna be uh, looking to get is the Canon M50. Uh, really liking the footage that's coming from it. Been watching a lot of videos on YouTube, a lot of different reviews. Uh, shout out to the Everyday Dad, because if he can figure it out, you can figure it out. <laughs> and, uh, been really watching his stuff a lot lately too. Um, it's really been a big factor in my decision to um, get a, uh, a Canon M50. I'd really prefer the Sony 6400, but right now I just don't have the money for something like that. It may be uh, a later purchase, but uh, to get me uh, in the door, I think we'll stick with uh, the Canon M50. And so the fourth and final thing that I need to save up for is the main nest egg that I'm gonna be living off of until the GI Bill starts kicking in. So the thing is with Japan, as far as expenses and stuff like that goes, um, the initial expenses are what usually throw a lot of people off. And you gotta save up a lot of money to get yourself established. But once you're established, and you got a place locked down and you start kind of getting yourself into the groove of things, then generally not so bad. But uh, I got to save up a pretty solid nest egg until GI Bill starts kicking in and you know, I do some more freelance work and some other things to kind of 
keep that going so I'm not completely living off the nest egg and I can just use it for emergency funds to, if I need to go back home for whatever reason, I got the plane ticket money, or if I need to buy something, I got the money for it. It's always good to have money in savings, kids. Definitely save up. Thinking about ballpark wise, probably shooting for like three or $5,000. Anything more than that would be awesome, but at the very least, $3,000 in savings. So yeah, that's uh, basically all I got for this month. So with that said, guys, this is the Andy Sun. Signing for now, and as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.